Okay, so let's talk about this project. So the first part is the wavy line that undulates through the artwork. That is going to be colored in a single color. So pick a color that you really like, that you want to spend a week or two looking at, and that you have plenty of on the color pencil. It's not a little knob. So this is Copenhagen blue, and within Copenhagen, what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm getting three di distinct tones. So first thing I'm going to do, make sure I have a piece of paper underneath. That makes coloring a little bit easier. And then I'm going to apply a light color application. This light color application will go through the entire ribbon. So I'm coloring left and right, up and down so that there's no white space. Okay. First you do that. That's your lightest value. Then I'm turning it just so that I have a better um, position. The edge, the outside edge, closest to the outer part of the paper, you're going to scrub the colored pencil so intensely and so dark that it almost looks like crayon. It looks like wax. Then from there, you're going to add medium. You can add medium by doing a second light application. When I do the medium, what I like to do is not have a straight line separating them two colors, but instead like a gradual dissipation of the dark. So you'll notice that I'm moving my color pencil left and right and up and down and sideways, and I'm pressing lightly. The more time you spend on medium, the better the project looks. As I'm close to the dark line, I'm even using circles. Again, I don't want a stark, easy to reveal line. Instead, I want a clear, soft gradation. Okay, so let's head to the top again. So a light application on top of the light application makes medium. It's like a double dose. So now I'm going to go diagonal this way, diagonal that way. I'm going to make some loops and just blend it in. There we go. And there we have it. So that's how you do the different variations. So you should have color the whole thing light, then start with the edge, make it extremely dark, and that's the outer part, the closest part to the edge of the paper, so follow it around. You always want to go closest to the outer edge of the paper, and then work on the medium by using your pencil in different directions, diagonally, in both directions, up and down, and then when you're making that medium dark, looping it helps to get those transitions. The more time you spend on medium, the more successful your art piece will become.